dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Reza Ulhaq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. Today, I will show how can we upload, download and monitor a program of Cement S7-1200 PLC. In this PLC, if you see my video carefully, you can understand about the uploading procedure monitor procedure and uh, downloading procedure of a program in Siemens PLC. So, let's start. First, I am showing you that it is the our PLC, Cinematic S7-1200. We want to upload this program from this uh, PLC or backup program from this PLC. So, that we are counting that we are using the Ethernet cable that is used to upload download the program from the PLC to PC to laptop. So, I am connecting the Ethernet cable. One side is connected to the PLC side, another is connected to the laptop side. In this video, I have used a software of TIA portal 15, version 15.1. I use this software to upload, download and monitor the program, PLC program. So, our cable is connected complicated. Now, I open the PA portal 15.1 version. After opening this project, so opening the program, create the create new project and in create new project, we have to be given the name, project name, in which name we want to the upload the program. So, I give the, give the name. Then we can uh, select the location you know, where we want to store this program. Then we can uh, make a comment that uh, we can uh, easily understand about the purpose of this uh, project. Then we press on the create button. Then the new project will be created. You see? Then we open the open the project view. Click on the open the project view. Click on project open the then the interface is open and then you select the PLC name but the project name then you can go to online and you can see upload program from device to upload program from PLC. Then you can select the combination cable it is the PNI. Then you can see the PCBC interface, first one, then press the start search. And here you can see the all connected devices are showing in this program, in this uh, table. This is the ACMI and PLC. We want to upload the PLC program. So you can check that the condition is okay or not. Okay, so it is the flash LED. And uh, you see, and right hand side, you see the uh, PLC is flashing. That means the communication is complete, 100% uh, communication is. Uh, communicated with the PLC and when the press the flash button and the PLC PLC LED is also flashing. You see? PLC LED is flashing. That means the our communication is see? okay. So after the checking this communication in this way you can check the our uh, laptop or our the, uh, the software is connected to the user or not, then you can press the upload button. You see, now I press the upload button to upload the program from PLC to our laptop. Press upload. Then the program will be uploading. You see, loading configuration from device. All the backup is completed, you see. Backup is completed. Now we can see in the left side, it is the uh, not yet completed. Loading configuration from device again. Same. It's now see in the left side, you can see the PLC2 is come. Before the other period, the new project it is not uh, available. So now it is showing the PLC program is available. Now we see the program is a correctly upload or not. So we click on the PLC2 option. Then here I can see all the options with the programs that means the PLC tag, PLC data, 
that means the all are this thing. Now you can click on the online and diagnostic, you see the hardware, all the hardware is in there that is connected to this in PLC, you see, here you can see the all hardware that connected for this project. Here you see one CPU, four input, uh, four IO card and one is input output card, that means the, the hardware that is connected in this in a project, all are showing this here. That means here, before I, I go to the online and want to see that I go to online and you can see the hardware is always okay. If any hardware have any problem, then we can see it is showing an error or not. It is not showing any error, that means the hardware is a completely okay. Now we go to the process of project, project, and the project programs, the, the program is a, is a showing a, or okay. That means that's our program, I go to the project, uh, project and the program side and uh, we want to monitor this one and now I am showing the monitor, uh, our upload is completed, now I am showing the monitor, how can we monitor the program of a project. So we go to the project, project that means the program files and here is the program files and go to the online. So when you go to online then you can see the status of this program. Now it is the project mode, place on the online, the monitor mode, then we can see the status of this same program, you see, now let's go to the online mode. In online you can see, when you want to see any trouble that you cannot uh, run the machine or not, then you can uh, by seeing this with the monitor, uh, by taking the mon uh, PLC program in monitor mode, then you can identify the what the problem is showing that for that the PLC does not run the machine. In this way we can the understand easily. You see, here is the many many network or the track that I uh, used to make the program, step by step program. You can easily understand. That means that we can upload all the program from device to laptop is uh, successfully. Then we can see all the programs, all the hardware that we can monitor easily. Have any error, then you can understand. In my next video, I will show how can we diagnostic the can find out the problem of any hardware. I show you. So if anyone want to follow my YouTube channel, then you can understand easily all the things. You see, now our upload and monitor is completed. Now I want to show how can we download a program. So we can close this one, close this project. Now I will show how can we download a program in the PLC. For that we have to be again close this program and open the TI portal version 15.1 or the any version you can use, so 15, 16, 17, 18 you can use. So I am using the version 15.1, TI portal version 15.1. Now after opening you can press the browse button now as, uh, this do we want to upload so download so we can press browse button and we have to select the program that we already upload and store so we go to this program and press the select and press open button after this you store program successfully open we go to the open the project view option we go to the project and open view then we select the program you see, our project is open successfully. Now you select this PLC or CP, yeah, sorry, program. We checking that so it is successfully open or not. Our store program is successfully open. Before the downloading program to the PLC or SMI, it must be compiled. They didn't have any error or not. If you not compile in manually, it automatically will compile to download the PLC. Have any error, then the program will not be downloaded to the CPU. So you can check this one step by step. The our program is uh, uh, you can check this one. Our program is successfully open or have any error to down, uh, error, uh, have any error before downloading to the CPU. So you can uh, after compiling or seeing all the program have any error and then you can select the CPU. That means the program select. You see. Now select CPU. 
and go to in the app side you see the online button or the right side you can see download button you see the download of the device download to device that means if you click this here then the our program will be downloaded to the CPU here again you can go to online again here you also you can see the download button you see press the download if I press the download button then the uh, then he check the communication that is already communicated or not. If the communication download will be starting, our machine is running, so I want not to download this one. Only I am showing that how can you download the program in the so I am showing the procedure. You can how can you download this one? Uh, if I download this one, uh, running machine will be stopped. So I does not want to this one at that time. You if you machine is stopped, then you can uh, press the download button. Then the your open program will be downloaded to the CPU successfully. So now I want to show you uh, how can we simulate our uh, this running program. Is it is working or hundred percent okay or not? You can do this one. So I want to simulate this one. You see. Here your right side corner you see here was the simulator that is in the EZTI mode totally integrated uh, software. So here you can the all things almost all can you do also by using this program. So I want to start simulate. You press the simulate button. You see then it is showing the starting of simulate. You press the OK button. Then the simulator CPU will be lab. The virtual CPU will be started. You see after the virtual CPU is showing this. Virtual CPU is showing and is a stop mode. First, you have to be download this project to the virtual CPU. So, you can press the run button. Then it is a compiling config. You see, I am even showing that the, when you start to download all the program will be compiled. Have any error or the new thing does not compile and does not found any error. Press the load button. Then you press the load button, then the program will be load to the virtual CPU. But if you directly load to the CPU, Without simulation, then same things will be happen. So I press the load button, and the our program is loading to the virtual CPU. Now I press the CPU in the run mode. Now the CPU stop mode. So I press the CPU to run mode. You see, press the run. Then the our CPU is now in stop mode. I press run. Then you can see. Or CPU go to the running mode. That means the CPU is run. It's a green light now. This one. Then you go to the monitor mode. Then the program will start. So you can see. Press monitor mode and you see our program is go to the monitor mode. That means I, I, now I am showing you in the simulation mode, not in the real mode. It is the simulation mode. And simulation mode, you can understand that, that your program is working uh, as uh, working properly or not. Any programmer can first of make this program, then you can try to simulate that is working or not. When the programmer is uh, satisfied or see that, that, that the program is uh, working properly, then they can use this in the, uh, directly go to the CPU to download this one. Now you see, now uh, virtual mode, and virtual mode, there is simulation mode and I am showing the all programmers in you know, online mode. Now I to check that one program is running or not, so it is just, uh, now I want to check one in the in this one you can force value. I can show you how can you force you want you can I, I can show you. You see, you can notice clearly, then you can understand. Uh, I see it is the I want to find out the start button that I want to start the machine. Is a uh, want to start the machine. So I am finding the start button, the is my start button. That the same thing will happen. The if I press this button, then the machine will be start. So I want to show you this one. Here you see this is the start when it is a manual start. So this is the ESMI start button. So I will click the right button. Then you go to the modify and go to the modify button. I click the modify to one. Then you see press the modify to one and that taking the pulse to the machine to start. It is detailing it. So this taking the pulse to start the generator. Then again you go to the modify to zero one zero. Then the button will be exist. So it is not the press button. I uh, when I force it will maintain auto maintain also I open this one. And uh, I see you see it is the already start the generator. If we want to see again then we I can uh, show you. So dear friend if you think my video is very helpful to you please subscribe my channel and uh, press the bell icon. 
In the next video, I will show how can we diagnostic how can we uh, 7200 PLC program. So, no more today. Assalamu alaikum. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Also, like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching.